I bet New York is on everyone's bucket list. Who does not want to see all those city lights? All those skyscrapers that will make you feel small in the world full of busy people. Everybody is alive and life seems to go on without pause when you are in the city. Well, good things come with a price and that is totally the case if you want to live or visit New York. With an average amount of $3,550 per month for a one-bedroom apartment in Manhattan, I mean $42,600 per year is very expensive for people who are not wealthy. Living in whatever part of New York will cost you a lot. But have you heard of places, buildings and apartments in 57th Street, south of Central Park? The rent and cost of living there might make your jaw drop. In today's video, I, your luxury warrior, will take you on this very expensive block called the Billionaire's Row. Are all the buildings and property in this block enough to call it the most expensive block in the world? This place is indeed for the billionaires because only those who have too much money can afford to stay there. There have been 41 real estate sales over $25 million for just the last 5 years. Now you will have the chance to see the extravagant high-rise buildings along Billionaire's Row, what they offer, and some of the famous people living in it. The first building that we will look at is 157. This one is famous among all the buildings in the area. You can find it at 257 East 57th Street. With its height of 1,005 feet, this building has 75 floors. It kind of started a trend of luxury buildings in Billionaire's Row. This was the honor to be called the tallest residential building in New York for quite some time. All of the 92 condominiums in 157 have a price tag of more than a million. Michael Dell is one of the few lucky people to own a penthouse in this building. He purchased it in 2014 for $100.5 million. This penthouse is located on the 89th and 98th floors. I would love to lounge on the balcony and look at the blinding lights from that floor. There are 23 foot tall floor to ceiling windows. You can fit a lot in this 11 square feet penthouse and indeed it was decorated well. Besides having the view, you will get 7 bathrooms, 2 powder rooms, and 6 bedrooms. It is no surprise that the magnificent kitchen has 2 stoves, 2 dishwashers, and state-of-the-art lighting. Relaxation can be taken to the next level because there is also a steam room, private movie theater, and a private library. These things are like a necessity to the rich. Have you also noticed? 157 itself has a lot to offer. Not just its expensive penthouses with expensive fixtures, it has lavish amenities for the residents as well. There is a custom-made jacuzzi, a spa portico, ultra-modern swimming pool, and a lap pool with underwater soundtrack curated by Carnegie Hall. I bet anyone who swims here feels very special. Imagine listening to a soundtrack made by the most prestigious concert hall. I mean, you'll be spending a lot, so might as well experience all the great things this building has to offer. Of course, there is a library with a billiards table and a 24-foot long aquarium. Becoming fit has become a trend, so yes, there is a fitness center as well. If all these do not satisfy you, then you can order spa treatments and room service anytime you need it. Besides Michael Dell, there are more people that are also well-known individuals that were enchanted by this building, like the Prime Minister of Qatar, billionaires Liu Yu Khan, Lawrence Stahl, and Silas Chu. Remember when I told you earlier that 157 was the most expensive and luxurious in billionaires row? That is true, but it was overshadowed by the penthouse in 2020 Central Park South in 2018. This was sold for a whopping amount of $250 million. And who is the buyer? The hedge fund manager and billionaire Ken Griffin. Well, this massive 24,000 feet penthouse occupies four separate floors. If you compute it, that will be about $10,000 per square foot. There is no such thing as too much for the rich because the penthouse has 17 bathrooms and 16 bedrooms. Lots of people can fit in this huge space. There are heated wood floors for when the weather is not too warm. There's also a steam shower that boasts of its view of Central Park. You can lounge and unwind in the living space, and there are other things to keep the residents entertained, like the golf simulator, a pool spa, a children's play area, a fitness center, a juice bar free for residents, and a library. 
Some of the famous people residing in the complex are Sting, together with his wife Trudy Styler. Some of the investors are Daniel Arches and Andrew Sorrow. All of them have the chance to look from the 12-foot-tall windows of 220 Central Park South. Now we're going to look at another incredible building which is 1,396 foot tall. It will be impossible to miss this building even though it is narrow. 432 Park Avenue is another residential high-rise building. Some love it, but there are also some that do not, especially architects and New Yorkers. Well, if you look at it, it is simple and besides its height, there is nothing much on the exterior. I'm sure the inside is incredible because apartments and penthouses in this building would not be as expensive if it has nothing too exquisite to offer. It actually has 81 condos that have been sold for an average price of $18.4 million. There must be top-tier amenities and service exclusive for the residents that is why they love this building. There is a private library where you can read the pastime or just enjoy the silence. There is also a billiards room in a private screening theater. You can also enjoy the wine cellar that housed 1,932 bottles. Some studio suites are available for the personal assistants and housekeepers to stay in. No matter how much people dislike the exterior of the building, their opinions do not really count because celebrities and known personalities like Jennifer Lopez and the founder of Nautica, David Chu, hedge fund managers, and business people own a place in this building. Now that we looked at all these buildings and you have so much money to spare, maybe you'll also love Condo 53A in 157. This is a 3,000 square foot condominium that has four bathrooms and three bedrooms. If you're shocked with how expensive the apartments I mentioned earlier are, then this condo might shock you for its low price of $19.8 million. I get it, it still is expensive, but for its size, well, it is a good deal. You will also get to look at Central Park every morning while you're lounging in the living space or any part of the condo. If you're a fan of anything minimalist, then you will love this property. It has sleek black and white features, built-in desks, and deep soaking tubs in the bathroom. If you also want to enjoy the exclusive amenities of the apartment, then you must pay 4,000 homeowners association fees. If you do not want to reside in these famous buildings, then the Billionaire's Row has lots to offer. There is 111 West 57th Street, which was completed last 2021. You already have the chance to purchase a four-bedroom apartment for $57 million. You can enjoy the view from its floor-to-ceiling windows, and for you to get to the master suite, you will have to take a spiral staircase. If you're not a big fan of stairs, then an elevator is conveniently there for you to take you to your room. The price is reasonably expensive because everything is custom-made. And that is all that your luxury warrior has for you today. Have you chosen the next apartment you're going to buy? Or maybe you're still in awe of how expensive the buildings and penthouses are in Billionaire's Row. Comment your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe and click that like button. And as always, prepare to suit up for more of our exciting videos.